What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Arvino Vengala and I'm back with a new video. This video is the second part of my VTech series. If you haven't watched my first video in this series, it will be linked in the iCards and in the description below. You can go and watch that video after you complete this video. And it is the second video of that series. Today we are going to discuss about the subjects that are in the VTech second year first sem and second year second sem for the computer science batch. So let's get started. First, let me cover the two one sem subjects. There are basically nine subjects for the computer science stream. Note is that the subjects and the syllabus that I am telling is from the JNTUH University for the R16 batch. I will provide this link down in the description below so that you can directly go and check the PDF. The first subject in this M4. In the first year, I've already discussed about Maths 1, Maths 2 and Mathematics 3. Now we are going to discuss about a Mathematics 4. This M4 has the chapters like functions of a complex variable. Second one is the complex integration. Third one is evolution of integrals. And the fourth chapter is Fortier series and transforms. And the fifth chapter is applications of PDE. PDE means partial differential equations. This Mathematics 4 totally deals with the integration and differentiation which you have already learned in your intermediate so this is just the advance and extension of that subject totally in this we are going to deal with all the types of integrals and some limits and the differentiation equations or the partial differentiation equation all these are covered in m4 sub and the second subject in the list is data structures through c++ in this subject we are going to discuss about all the data structures what are the types of data and what are the types of variables arrays list linker list all other stuff we are going to learn in this chapter this is the first subject in vtech which is totally related to the computer science branch. So let's see what are the chapters in The first chapter is C++ programming concept. In this chapter, there will be some basics, introduction about C++ and all the programming models. The second chapter is about arrays, variables and uh, stacks, what is stack, what is uh, queue. Data structures are explained in the second unit. And the third chapter is about trees, heaps and uh, queues like priority queues and uh, trees like binary trees, what is a binary tree and uh, what are the different types of trees and what are maps, what are hash maps is explained in the chapter 3 and the next chapter is about the different searching algorithms and also the sorting algorithms like binary search, linear search, merge sort, quick sort algorithms are explained in the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter is about graphs and uh, search trees and the next subject is mathematical foundations for computer science. First chapter is about mathematical logic. The second unit is about set theory algebraic structures and the third chapter is elementary combinatorics and the fourth one is recurrence relations and the final one in this MFCS is graphs. This is the graphs chapter is also same like uh, the previous which I have told in the data structures through C++ subject but there will be some difference and total MFCS this mathematical foundation for computer science totally depends on some set theory, some graphs, true false statements that you have studied in your 10th standard. And the next subject is DLD which is digital logic design. This subject totally deals on the electrical side and electronic side. So this has all the types of concepts like PN junction diode, all the transistors, ICs, all that stuff is included in DLD. Chapter 1 is digital systems and the chapter number 2 is gate level minimization. Chapter number 3 is combinational circuits and chapter number 4 is synchronous sequential circuits and chapter number 5 is memory registration. We will understand what are the different types of memories, like temporary, permanent, all that stuff is included in this chapter. And the next subject in the list is object oriented programming language through Java. It is nothing but the OOPS concept that we will learn in this chapter, and these OOPS concepts are going to be explained by using the programming language called Java. So let's get into the chapters first. Chapter number one is about object oriented thinking, and also it also has the concept of inheritance. And the second unit is about packages stream based input output the third unit is about exception handling and multi-threading and the fourth one is about collection framework and the fifth one is gui programming with swing it also has event handling all these chapters totally discuss about the object oriented programming language it also gives us the examples of object oriented with the programming language java you will also learn both java object oriented programming language 
and as well as you will also learn about programming language java then we have data structures through c++ lab where you are going to be given some programs in c++ so that you can execute those programs in your lab and the next lab is it workshop in this it workshop you can learn about all the different hardware components that are used in a computer laptop pc mobile phones uh, all the stuff and you will also know what is the different hardware parts and what are the names of different hardware parts and what are the uses of this hardware in the computer so that which hardware is used for which functions all these are described in detail in this subject and the next lab is object oriented programming through java lab this lab same as c++ you are also given some programming concepts programming questions that you can see here and these questions are solved in java language and you have to execute these programs in the java lab the last subject in the 21 sem is environmental science and technology this is just a environmental subject general subject now coming to this second year second semester subjects the first subject in it is the computer organization this is also one subject that is not totally related to csc but it has some aspects of triple e and ece side the first chapter is about digital computers and the second one is about central processing unit and the third chapter is assembly language and the fourth one is computer arithmetic and the final chapter is memory organizations in this you have seen that there is another programming language included in this subject that is assembly level language they will not teach you totally about assembly level language but a basics of those assembly level language is told it also deals with the central processing unit how cpu works and what are the parts in inside the cpu how the memory is stored in the ram rom and what are the types of storage all this detailed concepts are explained in this subject and the next subject in the list is database management systems this is also called as dbms and first one is about introduction to database management system the second chapter is relation algebra and sql and third chapter is schema refinement and normal forms fourth one is transaction management and another topic is concurrency control the final chapter in this dbms is storage and indexing and hash based index the dbms is totally about the back end side about the database order in which these database are stored and how these database elements are accessed and what are the commands and why we use only sql language and all these I explain in detail in this subject. The subject is operating system. The first chapter in this is introduction, and the second one is about process and CPU scheduling, and the third one is memory mapping and virtual memory, and the fourth one is storage management, and the final chapter is deadlock. In this subject, we are going to know how a operating system works and what are the uses of different operating systems, and which one is suited best for you. And also, there are we are going to learn about deadlocks. What is a deadlock, and how do we manage? memory in the ram that is a temporary storage memory and also how cpu schedules the processes means how multitasking takes place in a cpu is all are explained in detail in this subject and the next subject is about formal language and automata theory first chapter is about introduction and the second one is about context free grammar and the third one is regular expressions and the fourth one is about normal form and the fifth one is about undecidability the next subject in the list is business economics and financial analysis which is befa the first chapter is about introduction to business and introduction to economics and the second chapter is demand and supply analysis and the third one is production cost market structures and and pricing the fourth one is financial accounting and fifth one is financial analysis through ratio this is a management side subject where you are going to know about how does a business work like what is the cost of production what is all the business types related topics are totally explained in this subject then we have computer organization lab as i have told in computer organization lab you are going to have the assembly level language so this language is somewhat to briefly explain not totally but briefly some problems are taken and introduced in this lab then we have the database management systems lab in this you have to work with the sql part of the software and insert delete create or update or drop a tables uh, by using the sql and you are also going to do the er word diagrams like the entity relationship diagrams and relational model all these are going to be done in this lab next we have the operating systems lab in this lab most of the programming languages are based on c language because operating systems are tough to understand and a c language is a easy language and most of you guys know about this language all the questions in this lab are going to be from the c language the last subject in the second year is gender sensitization lab this is just like environment subject in the 21 semester just a generalized subject this is basically based on 
gender equality. The first one is understanding gender and the second chapter is gender and biology and the third chapter is gender and labor and the fourth one is issues of violence. The final chapter is gender coexistence and I hope you guys have got some information about what are these subjects about briefly. If you want I can also make a detailed video about each subject separately. Just comment in the comment box below. If you like this video drop us a like down below and also share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel for the upcoming videos on BTEC and study related information. And that's it from me today. See you next time.